Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in last week's poll, I asked you guys the question, other than Windows 10 and Windows 11, which was your very first Windows operating system? And which didn't come as a surprise to me, Windows XP in first place with 38% of you saying that was your first OS, followed on by the early versions, including myself, that's 34% of us, say we used the early versions uh, as our first Windows OS. And to be more specific, Windows 95 was actually my very first Windows operating system. Followed on in third place by Windows 7, 21% of you say that was your first OS. And then in fourth and fifth place, very close, uh, Windows Vista 4% and Windows 8 and 8.1, 3%. And by the way, uh, when it comes to first and second place, this is the closest results we've actually had between first and second place um, on any given poll we've done up to date on the channel. Now, if you want to stick around, I thought um, just to do a brief overview of some of the uh, background and history of Windows. And if you want to do stick around, and if you would be interested, uh, Microsoft Windows is a group of several proprietary graphical operating system families developed and marketed by Microsoft. Each family caters to a certain sector of the computing industry. For an example, Windows NT for consumers, Windows Server for servers, and Windows IoT for embedded systems. And the so-called defunct or deprecated Windows families include Windows 9X, Windows Mobile and Windows Phone. And this is all according to Wikipedia that I'm getting this information from for the purpose of today's video in case you would be interested. Now, first of all, just to go right back to some very, very early versions of Windows. Um, the history of Windows dates back to 1981 when Microsoft started work on a program called Interface Manager. It was announced in November 1983 under the name Windows, but Windows 1, or Windows 1.0 was not released until November 1985. Um, Windows 2 was the follow-up to that and was released in December of 1987. And just a side note here, 1987 was the year that I actually finished school, but nonetheless, um, Windows 2 was released in December 1987 and was more popular than its predecessor, Windows 1. Uh, it's, it features several improvements to the user interface and memory management. And then Windows 2.1 was released in two different versions, Windows 286 and Windows 386, and I actually remember those two versions quite well. Now, moving on to the actual uh, Windows uh, versions we featured in our poll, and starting with the so-called early versions, and um, that would be 3.1 right through to 2000 ME. And just to give you a brief overview and just to use some screenshots, which will just give us a, a kind of a, a, a better idea and put things into perspective, just giving us a visual reference, especially for our younger viewers. Now, Windows NT was the first Windows operating system based on a hybrid kernel. And the first release of the resulting operating system, Windows NT 3.1 was released in July of 1993 with versions for desktop workstations and servers. And then the follow-up to that was uh, Windows NT 3.5, which was released in September of 1994 and was focusing mainly on performance improvements and was followed up by Windows NT 3.51 in May of 1995. Now, this is uh, where I think um, Microsoft got their big breakthrough with the Windows operating system, Windows 95, and Windows NT4 was released in June of 1996 and introduced the redesigned interface of Windows 95 to the NT series. And I think most of you would agree with me, this is, I think, the, brown, the groundbreaking um, OS that so-called put the Windows operating system on the map, so to speak. Now, Windows um, 95 was followed on by Windows 98. And Windows 98 was released on uh, the 25th of June, 1998, which introduced the Windows driver model, um, support for USB composite devices, support for ACPR, hibernation, and support for multi-monitor configurations. Windows 98 also included integration with Internet Explorer 4 through Active Desktop, desktop and other aspects of the Windows desktop update. Uh, in May of 1999, Microsoft released Windows 98 second edition, an updated version of Windows 98, and Windows 98 SE added Internet Explorer 5 and Windows Media Player 6.2, amongst other upgrades. And then after Windows 98, 
as we can see, we got Windows 2000. And just a brief overview of Windows 2000. Um, on February the 17th, 2000, Microsoft released Windows 2000, obviously a successor to NT4. And uh, the Windows NT name was dropped at this point in order to put a greater focus on the Windows brand. And then after um, Windows 2000, we get Windows ME which is one of those kind of operating systems that kind of flew under the radar and wasn't actually that popular. But nonetheless, on September the 14th, 2000, Microsoft released Windows ME, which was the abbreviation for Millennium Edition. And this was the last DOS-based version of Windows. Windows ME incorporated visual interface enhancements from its Windows NT-based counterpart, Windows 2000, and had faster boot times than previous versions, according to Wikipedia. Now, here's another breakthrough OS, Windows XP. And um, Windows XP was a great operating system. I actually think, and I think many of you would agree with me, that Windows XP, um, for some users, most probably would be the most popular version of Windows to some extent or the other, mainly for your older viewers of this channel. And Windows XP was the next major version of NT um, and Windows XP was released to the general public on October the 25th, 2001. And I actually think to some extent or other, this was my actual favorite Windows OS. Now, the introduction of Windows XP aimed to unify uh, the consumer-orientated Windows 9X series with the architecture introduced by Windows NT, a change which Microsoft promised would provide better performance over its DOS-based predecessors, Windows XP would, would also introduce a redesigned user interface, including an updated start menu and a task-orientated Windows Explorer, streamlined multimedia and networking features, Internet Explorer 6 integration with Microsoft's uh, .NET passport services, a compatibility mode to help provide backwards compatibility with software designed for previous versions of Windows and remote assistance functionality. And that's Windows XP, as mentioned, which I think even today still remains one of the most popular versions of Windows. Now, following on to Windows Vista, and obviously Windows Vista over the years has got a, a bit of so-called hate, but nonetheless, um, after a lengthy development process, Windows, Windows Vista was released on November the 30th, 2006 for volume licensing and January the 30th, 2007 for consumers. It contained a number of new features from a designed shell and user interface to significant technical changes with a particular focus on security features. It was available in a number of different editions and has been subject, as I mentioned, to some criticism such as drop of performance, longer boot time, criticism of a new UAC, which is user account control, and stricter license agreement. And then moving on to Windows 7, which also remains a very, very, very popular version of Windows. And uh, Windows 7 was released on July the 22nd, 2009. And unlike its predecessor, Windows Vista, which introduced a large number of new features, Windows 7 was intended to be a more focused, incremental upgrade to the Windows line with the goal of being compatible with applications and hardware uh, with which Windows Vista was already compatible. And then the last look today for our poll and this video is Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Um, and Windows 8, the, success of, the successor to Windows 7, was released generally on October the 26th, 2012. A number of significant changes were made on Windows 8, including the introduction of a user interface based around Microsoft's Metro design language with optimizations for touch-based devices such as tablets and all-in-one PCs. These changes include the start screen, uh, which use, uses large tiles that are more convenient for touch interactions and allow for the display of continually updated information and a new class of apps which are designed primarily for use on touch-based devices. And then an update to Windows 8 called Windows 8.1 was released on October the 17th, 2013 and included features such as a new, uh, a, a new live tile sorry, new live tile sizes, deeper OneDrive integration, and many other revisions. Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 have been subject to some criticism, such as the removal of the start menu. And um, as mentioned, Windows 8.1, as I've mentioned in previous videos, reintroduced us to the actual 
start menu which was removed in the actual original release of Windows 8. And then obviously after Windows 8 and 8.1 we received Windows 10 and now Windows 11 and possibly expecting to get Windows 12 sometime next year in 2024. And that's just to finish off our poll which was your very first Windows operating system with Windows XP coming in in first place. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.